Hey guys, hope you're all doing well. Great to be seen as always. This is Cobb and I uh, here giving uh, uh, daily announcements, uh, final episode uh, of this year. Uh, I know school's been out for about a week, but uh, some things have happened since that was out. We wanted to wrap things up after that, so, so here we are. I want to uh, remind you of a few things I mentioned last week uh, that, that you may have forgotten or, or still need to take care of. And uh, real quick, that's a BMS library book return. That can be handled through the Bedford Public Library. Just use their Dropbox and, and we'll get it back. Uh, so that, that's a nice, easy way to do that. Uh, eighth grade trip refunds, that's still in the works. We hope to have that finalized and actually uh, be able to issue returns by the end of June. So thank you for your continued patience on that, but, but we're working hard on that and hopefully we can get that all finalized by the end of next month. Uh, summer lunches, that program will go on. We've had a great summer lunch program at BMS for several years. That's gonna be a bit different, uh, at least for the first month, at least for June. It's gonna work a lot like we've been distributing uh, meals for the last several weeks. Uh, that'll happen on Monday and Thursday still, uh, 12 to one. So the times are a little different. It's just an hour each day, and BMS is gonna be the only site for food distribution. So uh, make a note of that, take full advantage of that. That's a, that's a great opportunity to get, get a meal uh, or two, so, so make sure you have that schedule. Uh, so speaking of drive throughs with the lunches, we had our 8th yes. grade drive through uh, this week where we got to see the 8th graders and they came through and they got a lot of things in their packets so you can look at some of these highlights right now. Uh, we were so excited to see so many of you and there were also some uh, really decked out cards and signs and we had tons of teachers there uh, to see the and our students were able to pick up uh, their certificates of completion for completing uh, Bedford Middle School and heading to high school. There were several awards, 5K t-shirts, lots of goodies, and each uh, student got an 8th grade slideshow yes. as well. The slideshow was great. Uh, a great job is done by Mr. and Mrs. Cobb each year to put a slideshow together for 8th graders. Uh, there wasn't as much material this year, uh, unfortunately, but it was a great slideshow. I know uh, everyone really enjoyed it checking that out and getting a copy of the, of the DVD. Yeah, it was really fun to put together because we had uh, we were able to look back, even though it was a, an abbreviated year, we had a lot of really good memories that we looked back on. We sure did, and we, we thought about that a little bit as a way to just kind of uh, put a pen in this year. It's kind of fun to remember some of the things that happened throughout the year, and there's a lot, a lot of things we can talk about. but. Uh, uh, you know, I know one thing that always stands out to me, one of my favorite programs and convocations of the year is the Veterans Day program. Uh, I always enjoy that. Uh, this year was, was a little different uh, as the choir and orchestra were put together. Yeah. That was really neat to see, and I thought they did a great job with that. I thought they did too. And then we also, uh, another thing I really like every year is when the BNL band visits, and a lot of our students uh, play with them. And I got to watch from the roof this year, and I got some uh, really good footage of that as well. That's always a fun time. Uh, another music-related memory was the uh, Christmas video that went out. Um, I don't remember the song, it was real catchy. Uh, <laughs> it was Blake Shelton and Gwen Stefani, yeah. Make It Feel Like Christmas. Yeah, and that's where a lot of people, including myself, showed off some dance moves, and that was fun. Uh, maybe more fun for some than others. But I, I remember, remember I remember that Mr. Bush wore that onesie, or a couple onesies actually, and I got uh, a lot of congratulations for getting you and Mr. Choice to dance. Yeah, uh, that, that might be a stretch of the term, uh, but <laughs> we, we were there and there was movement. So, yeah. True, yeah. true. And uh, you know, we did do a lot of videos this year, even before uh, we were separated from the students. Uh, we did the College Go video, yep. and we even had one with outtakes. And I had a lot of fun making that with the uh, celebrated College Go week back in September. Yeah, that was a lot of fun. Uh, I remember Beta Club induction ceremony. Uh, you know, it's funny, every year that we do that, uh, the trickiest part is often lighting those candles. <laughs> I think you, you provided a little help with that this year as well. Well, it, it looked like a little rescue was needed, but I think he was about to get it. Uh, but but we, we did get it. We did get it. That you know, sure. and it was around the same time that we uh, we got to celebrate Miss Gross being 
on Wheel of Fortune. Yeah. One of our teachers was on Wheel of Fortune. So uh, we had a big celebration for her, and that was a lot of fun. It was. That, that, that's a first, to my knowledge, of a staff member being on a, a game show like that. <laughs> and she represented herself at BMS very well. There may be some criticism of strategy involving the uh, valve purchasing, but I'm not a critic. You know, I'm not like that, but I'm just glad she was there. <laughs> For sure. We also had a lot of uh, sports teams do really well this year. A lot of championships, a lot of hardware brought back to BMS, starting uh, way back early, I think, with the sixth grade girls and going on through so many championships won and successes experienced. Uh, I especially want to give a shout out to our eighth grade girls basketball team. Quite an accomplishment. Undefeated three straight years. That's hard to do. Yeah, that that's not easy to do at all. But they've got a lot of uh, they're they're a lot of hardworking girls. They worked really hard and they wanted it, so they, they got they, it. <laughs> that's a talented group. It'd be interesting interesting to watch how how far they go. Uh, high day was an interesting day. Uh, first of all, I was excited uh, by having the opportunity to be a judge in the pie contest and sampling everything several times to make sure I was thorough, um, and, and that was fun. Uh, and we had great entries, and that was that was a lot of fun. But the day took on another turn. It did because that ended up being our last day of school, and we didn't even know it at the time. But uh, I mean, you all remember we got the the notice to clear out lockers and to clear out offices and classrooms. Uh, it was a, a, a day like none of us had ever experienced before. It really was. And who, who would have thought back then that that would have been our last day together? Yeah. Uh, so much happened. Uh, right around that time, every day, different things were happening. And, uh, it certainly uh, resulted in, in, in an experience like we've never had before. Uh, probably never have again. Uh, and, and you know, related to that, uh, I, I just want to say, and I think we've said this before, because the times are so unusual and so likely not to be repeated, I want to just encourage everyone to take a little time to record uh, what you experienced during this. And we're not through it yet, but it's taking a different turn. But what it was like during COVID-19. What, what did you do? What did you feel? What did you experience? I, I know I lived through, I was in middle school actually, uh, during the blizzard of 78. And that was a big deal, a big event. Um, and I'm often asked about that. And I have just kind of vague recollections of what that was like. And I wish I'd taken time to record in more detail what I personally experienced. So I encourage you to do that. Uh, and if you do that, I promise you uh, there'll be a point in time when you'll be very glad that you did, uh, for sure. Um, as this is our last broadcast of the year, it's fitting just to say, it's been a, been a wild one, been a good one, uh, unusual as I said before, uh, but, but a great one in, in many uh, special ways as well. And we wish you all the best uh, to transition here for eighth graders going to high school. Of course, our, our present sixth and seventh graders will be returning to a different kind of BMS, uh, which will be exciting and new. And of course, right now, none of us know exactly what the start of the next school year is going to be like. There's a lot of decisions that need to be made now the 1st of August, so the flexibility that we've demonstrated over the past several weeks and months, uh, we need to continue with it because uh, we're going to be asked to continue to be flexible, as I know we will. So it's been a, in a, in a great year uh, for me. Uh, you know, Mr. Yeah, it's been great for me as well. Uh, it, it was the, the best year in a lot of ways. There were a lot of great things that happened, and of course, uh, my all the memories we discussed, my favorite memory is uh, just being with the kids. Indeed, that, that, that's always a highlight. So thank you all for, for, for being part of this special year and for allowing us to be part of it with you. Uh, and we wish you all the best. Have a great summer and beyond. So take care. We'll see you around. Bye.